हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर प्रतीक गुप्ता एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट जीएमसी रजिस्ट्रेशन इन कंटिन्यूशन टू माय प्रीवियस वीडियो बेस्ड ऑन जीएमसी रजिस्ट्रेशन वंस यू हैव गॉट ऑल द डॉक्यूमेंट्स व्हिच आई हैव टोल्ड बिफोर यू हैव टू गो टू द जीएमसी वेबसाइट एंड देन यू हैव टू कंप्लीट द क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज गिवन ऑन द वेबसाइट एंड वंस यू कंप्लीट द क्वेश्चन यू विल रीच ऑन अ पॉइंट वेयर इट विल बी गिवन आई एम रेडी टू अप्लाई then when you click on this you will be able to set up your account and you can fill your details and after that uh, this will create your gmc id now go to the gmc online website and log in in your account now to register for the new registration you have to go to the my registration and start a new application in that they will ask you about a route selection regarding the ec rights so as we are all international medical graduates so you have to click no because we don't have ec rights and the next question will be whether you have uh, whether you want to enter the specialty or the gp register if you are an mrcs mrcp or a royal college candidate then we do not uh, enter in specialist or a gp register so you have to click no next in the application uh, they will ask you uh, which kind of application like uh, for mrcs and mrcp it is img3 and for mti candidates it is img4 further they will ask you to provide your epic details and your internship details and your personal details and then after that you have to give your professional professional experience of past 5 years Uh, you should not have any gap of more than 28 days but if you have a gap then you have to mention the details of that gap and they might also ask you to provide some evidence uh, for the gap after that you have to give an english language declaration so you have to provide uh, your oet or ielts id then the next point will be based on registration and licensing in this you have to give the details of registration in medical council in which you have been registered in past 5 years once you are done with all these then you have to do a payment of 406 pounds now when you have submitted your application gmc will go through your application and in a day or two they will mail you a list of documents which you have to send them back via email within 28 days period once all your documents are accepted by the gmc they will ask you for an face to face id check which can be done within 3 months time duration and there in the id check they will ask you all your original documents which you have submitted via email to the gmc and after that you will get yourself gmc registered Now I would like to share my experience with GMC registration. Usually GMC do not ask for any experience certificate but still you should have it ready with you for the last 5 years. Next is your date of joining in a hospital should coincide or should be let, or should be later than the date of your registration. For example if you have worked in a hospital Or, or done a fellowship and you were not registered in their medical council for that time period then gmc can ask you to get an employer reference form the employer reference form is a form which is filled by the employer confirming your work experience in that hospital during that time period gmc can later also ask for a no objection letter from the concerned state medical council also therefore you have to fill these details very carefully this situation usually arise in an indian scenario because in india there are multiple state medical councils and you have to get registered with each council when uh, we move from one state to another state if you have any other doubt regarding your gmc registration 
kindly put it in the comment section i would like to help you out